Wake up, buyer payer people. It's a beautiful day. Go grab yourself another cup of joe and say hello to Jim and Michelle Rhodes on the Buy Here, Pay Here morning show. Take it away, you two. Hey. Good morning from Clearwater, Florida. (laughs) Oh my gosh. It was good to be home. I am so happy to be home. I actually took a photo of myself last night and I meant to post it on Facebook and didn't get around to doing that. But um, yeah, I super, super happy to be back. It is, we, before we left, you know, we're in Clearwater, Florida and it's, it's been kind of warm out here. And so when we left a month and a half ago, we set the temperature at about 85. It was 85 when we walked in. So quickly uh, turned up the AC and got everything cranking and, but oh my gosh, so happy to be back in Mm -hmm. our own studio too. um, Got everything all set up and and we're ready to rock and roll. Mm-hmm. We didn't get a pre-broadcast out this morning. That, but that's okay, okay, so that's because you know we're just like, hey, honey, we should probably wash some clothes. Yeah, well, and, hey, yeah. honey. <laughs> yeah, and then by the time we, by the time I said, hey, Jim, did you do the pre-broadcast thing? Yeah, it was it was too late. Yeah. So sorry about not, the not getting the the pre-broadcast warning on all of our Facebook warning. And- uh, warning. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. uh, that that we were going to be going live and. Um, yeah. So just, yeah, great, beautiful drive. We, mm-hmm. we had the opportunity to swing into New Orleans. I'd never really been there mm-hmm. um, and had lunch at a place called the Ruby Slipper. Mm-hmm. Um, it was kind of brunch. Uh, and it was really cool to see their story about why it was called the Ruby Slipper because right. it had been destroyed by Katrina and and that their, their team and their owners just wanted to go back home. Mm-hmm. And so it was a tribute, the Ruby Slipper. They changed the name to that just as a tribute to Wizard of Oz. Right. I just want to go home. And so um, it's now open and um, highly recommend for brunch. Mm-hmm. It was really for, delicious. Especially for a Cajun brunch. It's for a, a Cajun brunch. Yeah, 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 absolutely. So, yeah, we had in mind to uh, take on a new subject today. Hi, Bill Elizondo. Mm-hmm. Good to have you here. And then here comes Tommy Brandis. <laughs> uh, Tommy says, make it a great show. He must be stepping out. But uh, yeah, so we're going to take on a new series um, today. And uh, we're going to do, um, because it's the first day of the week. And the, first, the day first day of, of the, the month. month and um, we're home and we're settled and yeah. all of that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, the first just happens to fall on a Monday, which is our first day of August. So it's a good time for us to take on a subject and we're going to do every Monday in the month of August, we're going to talk about what we call management Monday. And we think this could be really useful to yeah. a lot of our listeners We're out just there. Just kind of testing it out for the month of August. So, you know, if this is like good quality content, you guys let us know because we can continue this each month. Yeah. So here's what I can tell you. It's going to be quality it's content. It's going to be quality it's content. It's going to be valuable stuff. <laughs> and, and the reason this even came up for us mm. is we know that in our travels, we meet a lot of people that struggle to manage their day. A lot of folks don't Mm -hmm. work from a calendar and we just meet a lot of people that are kind of struggling, whether it's a dealer principal, general manager, we see people in kind of top management that, that sometimes find it difficult to keep up with all the stuff and they always kind of have Mm -hmm. a frantic way of life. And and when you travel like we do and you work with a lot of different people, you start to recognize some characteristics. Yeah. It's an epidemic. Yeah. um, That's a good way to say it. Yeah. So we kind of thought, well, we, we have some ideas. I mean, we often end up making suggestions to dealers who find themselves in that position. And look, it's time management is a difficult thing in and of itself. Like yeah. there are folks out there who struggle to do it. And, and we understand that I personally struggle to work very well from a calendar. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's part of what sometimes, um, you know, can be part of the adjustment for folks. But I think what we're going to try to do in the month of August is give some really very real tips, yeah. very actionable tips that people can use to start to chip away at some of these things mm-hmm. and really have an impact. I know that you had mentioned yesterday, um, after reading some of James Clear's stuff oh. on Atomic Habits. Um, and I'll, and I'll mention again at the end of the end of the broadcast, a uh, book that I have read multiple times mm-hmm. because it's that impactful on just a micro level. Right. Um, and it's called um, Atomic Habits by right. James Clear. And so, you know, if y'all are thinking about getting a new audiobook or uh, reading a new book um, for, 
you know, all of, there's a lot of people out there that are like the self-help junkie kind of things, but uh, yeah, that's, that's a really, really impactful one. Yeah. Um, they talk about uh, habit stacking yeah. in there. And so that's an important um, technique that people can use to yeah. be more effective. So the, the main topic for the month of August is seize the day. Right. So we're going to, we're going to, um, in the manager Monday, um, segments, we're going to be talking about seizing your day, seize the day. So many dealers that we talk to, as Jim mentioned, um, you know, they use words like overwhelmed and we, uh, mm -hmm. or, um, oh my gosh, fires, I'm yeah, putting, out putting out fires all day yep, long. Um, you know, that you just, you just don't have time. I mean, how many times have we we set up a discovery call or something like that. And we've had to reschedule it multiple times because mm -hmm. it's like, there's something happens and yeah. something happens and something happens. And you know, it's, 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 um, it's across the board that we just, we kind of see this happen, um, from, uh, uh, dealers across, across the board, mm -hmm. kind of carpe diem. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Seize the day. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think as we've traveled, you know, I'm, and listen, I was a dealer myself for seven years uh, with a finance company. Nobody recognizes better than Michelle and myself, the challenges that we have in buy here, pay here that some other businesses wouldn't have. They're just, I always say it like, there's just a lot of balls to keep in the air. Like, mm -hmm. you know, if it's a juggling act, you have, you have multiple departments, yeah, you have collections, it. you have all these, yeah. these other pieces and we certainly get it. We recognize it but because of that, we need to get better better uh, most of us are getting uh you know on top of our day and so at part of what kind of set this conversation in motion at the end of our session in austin with tiada mm -hmm. i asked the audience as they were heading home and on their drive and fly home i said ask yourself you know do you own your business or does your business own you and so it's really it's a it's a kind of a harsh way to think about the kind of in a in a macro level what we're asking folks to think about on a more micro level now is like, mm -hmm. let's just talk about, let's talk about today. Let's talk about Monday the first mm -hmm. and what, what could we do as dealers, owners, managers to better manage what's happening? Well, and, and part of this is because uh, those of you guys who listen to us, we're always talking about, um, are you working in your business or are you working on your right. business? And, and the, that a, a lot of you are working in your business. You're spending, mm -hmm. you know, 40, 50, 60 hours a week. It's just one thing after another, pulling you one direction or another. And this, what we're going to try to do is help you carve out the time to work on your business, even if it's just a small amount of time every week. Yeah. And one little, you know, case in point that happens with Michelle and myself, a lot of times we'll hear from dealers that say, man, we could really use some help. We're going to schedule an appointment with you guys. And we, we really want to try to, you know, get some help from outside and find out what an engagement with you might look like, you know, or whatever. Uh -huh. And then they can't, they can't show up for the meeting. Like, yeah. And we can't, have to reschedule three reschedule. or four times because stuff it's like happens. The, so, yeah. And we know, get it. And you know, it's, that that's not about us complaining no, about that it's, happening. It's, it's just a real thing yeah. out when there. It, and when it becomes persistent, then, you know, it starts mm -hmm. to naturally look, look like a pattern. And one of the things I, I would say is that, you know, having also, in addition to buy here, pay here in, in the car business, I was also in the retail business before that. One of the things I've always said about the retail business, it's just the nature of the business that we're in mm -hmm. is that when you post your hours and you have your doors open certain days of the week, it's going to happen that people are going to, you don't know what's going to walk through the door next. Uh -huh. You don't know what issue, what what customers, what, what sale or deal is going to walk through the door. You don't know. There are parts of your day that are not, not knowable. I first heard that. Not knowable. Yeah. I first heard that back in desert storm. What was the guy anyway? <laughs> the, uh, the guy who was the uh, defense secretary used to use that word. Anyway, uh, the, I'm sure someone out there listening yeah, is going to remember. So. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, the idea is that you're, there are certain things you can't predict. And because of that, we have to even better manage the mm -hmm. time that we do set aside. Um, and so this is, you know, there are multiple ways to get there. I certainly want to talk to folks as we move into this uh, conversation in the month of August. I want to certainly talk about what I call weekly initiatives. You know, you've heard mm -hmm. me introduce that with several clients and uh, let me kind of tell the backstory on that. I came up with that phrase. I started using that terminology way back in around 01. And I was, you know, a young consultant working with dealers across the country and, and I was struggling to find a way to help them 
because the conversations we had this weekly service that we provide them and get on the phone call phone call with dealers and managers and we would try to you know identify things and try to make a difference but the conversations were getting really tired they were just same stuff every week pointing out the same stuff nothing same really problems. changes and i'm thinking why are you paying us to get in here to talk about the same problems this has been like this for months or as long as I've known you, like, why are we doing this? Why are you paying me to tell you this stuff that never, never gets fixed? Mm -hmm. So I started this thing we called weekly initiatives and I would create a weekly initiative. We would work in cooperation with the dealer and the, and the manager, and we would identify one thing. And that's what I'm asking us to think about doing today with our Monday. And there'd be other things, of course, that we want to do, but we want to think about as we go through the, the uh, idea of how to do this weekly initiative, it's more in the context of how do we pick something, tackle it, get it knocked out, and, and it's a small piece. It's like that, mm -hmm. you know, eating an elephant thing. It's the take on one bite. We're going to take one bite. We're going to make sure we get that thing done. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to move on to the next thing next week. So know? part of, you know, I know that there's a lot of dealers out there. It's like, oh, man, I would love to. Just can't find the time. Just, I would love to, even if it's a small thing. Oh my gosh. How would it, how much would it help me to do X? Um, I just don't have the time. And so there's, there's actually, we, we, we typically don't do homework. Yeah. Um, uh, but we're going to challenge y'all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been in been Texas, Texas quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to challenge y'all to, to, uh, think about this during the week. Mm -hmm. And, um, and those of you who are up to the challenge for our seize the day manager Monday spotlight for mm -hmm. this month, um, is to do some kind of informal journal of all of the things, the tasks that you do during the day, like any given normal day. Mm -hmm. The intent of this is that we're trying to carve out, we're trying to help you carve out one or two hours a week. If you can do one hour a day, that's uh, you know all the better. But like a couple of hours a week that you can carve out to start working on your business um, instead of just just working in your business. And it's like you know we we this this applies to dealers. Frankly, um, Jim loves it when I use that word. Frankly, frankly. Mm. I actually got him using it a while ago. Um, <laughs> uh, we we see dealers from all different. Um, portfolio sizes, how long they've been in business, you know, all of this that, that all struggle with, um, with uh, working on their business. I mean, I can't tell you how many dealer 20 group or 20 group uh, dealers that we know that have, I mean, they're like established and they, they uh, love going to the 20 groups. They walk away with just this long hit list of things to improve their business by, um, and then they, you know, they come back and they're like, we're going to do it and this is going to be awesome. And then three months later, they go to their next meeting and not a single thing on that list has been tackled. Not a single, not a single needle has been moved. And it's not because of the, the enthusiasm or the recognizing it, you know, the dealer recognizing these things could help my business mm -hmm. is that they are, their business is running them. Mm -hmm. and, and that there are, there are small, you know, we're going to try to help you in these next, uh, like there's five Mondays in, 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 um, August, we're going to try to help you carve out, um, you know, just an hour or two a week. And so regardless of how long you've been in business, whether it's been, um, you know, a, a, a year or mm -hmm. if it's been 20 or 30 years, um, just kind of think about it. If you could carve out an hour or two a week just to work on something that's going to improve your business, how much better would your business be? That book, Atomic Habits, um, really talks about that. And like I said, a good book, Atomic Habits, James Clear, where when you change one thing in your day and make it a habit. And it's all about habit stacking. And I mean, it's just really a fantastic book. But you change one little thing in your day, and then you track the progress of that one little thing changing over the course of a month or a year. And the needle is massively changed because it scales yeah. into, you know, how you've gotten better. Mm -hmm. 
in whatever it is. I mean, it can be something as simple as, um, uh, as simple as, you know, I want to, I want to remember to exercise more. Mm -hmm. And so I really like taking a walk when I get home from work or whatever. And so you're putting your gym shoes right next to the door mm -hmm. for the moment that you get home, that you're going to, um, that you're going to, you know, it's like, it's stacking something that's, you mm -hmm. sit down, you take off your dress shoes. Well, I'm going to put on my gym shoes and I'm going to go for a walk right. or whatever. So, um, Atomic Havoc's really, really great. And so Tommy or, just ordered it. Tommy just ordered Good it. Call, Band, Tommy. Good call, Only $11 hardback on Amazon. I think that you can also, those of you who like to listen, if you've got a commute or whatever, that's a one you, I believe it's on Audible. And I think mm -hmm. that the author actually read that. Right. Um, and so we know a lot of you didn't tune in on Monday to get beat up. Like we're picking on you this morning. And so it's, you know, this is really meant, this is part of what we do, frankly, as advisors is part of mm -hmm. our job is to identify, you know, what might be a breakdown. And sometimes we mm -hmm. recognize that it is in the management, the day-to-day -day management, mm -hmm. and we know there are solutions. So what mm -hmm. we're going to try to do is not just pick on you this morning. If you're in that group, you know, you're in that group, you know, you're struggling with that. And so we're going to offer you some really great tips in the month of August. And we're going to ask you to tune in on Mondays uh -huh. and we're going to take you inside some, some very real tips. So the first one, as we said, is is, it's, let's start with a list. And, and so where I'm going with that, we want to make sure that we, when we create this list of all the things that you find yourself doing. Yeah. And it's, daily, and it's little and things. Weekly. It's like, I got to go to the bank. I got to go, you know, to make deposits. I got to go, um, you have to I review my aged inventory. I have reports. to review my aged inventory, you know, all of the things, put them all on the list, all on the list. And so, I mean, just like the smallest, uh, like the daily and, and, or the weekly things, but a little you do. star by the ones that you feel like only you can do, you know? Yeah. Okay. And, and there's, <laughs> there's a caveat to that. So, right. so, and this is something that, you know, Jim and I have also, uh, had some challenge with, um, as we continue to grow that there are certain things that, that we know, oh my gosh, it would be so lovely if we had someone that could help us with X. Mm -hmm. And, and we may have the ability to bring someone in to handle X but the problem is, is we have to train X mm -hmm. and training X is, uh, it's just, I just might as well do it. Mm -hmm. I just might as well do it myself knowing full well. And I think all of you, all of you dealers out there in dealer land can think of at least one thing that it's like, if I could get that off my plate and mm -hmm. it's just, it's something someone else can do, but I've kind of like owned it and I haven't taken the time or whatever to be able to teach someone else how to do it. So, um, you know, that there's, there's always one X. Well, even if, if what we're doing is we're carving out the time for you to be able to take that person and train them or to do a video to train them or something like that. So we'll be getting to that, but try to find, you know, what are the things you do every day and like put a, put the star next to the things like Jim said, that could be delegated. Yeah. Well, some of this you're talking about, oh man, I don't want to, I, I would have to train somebody, but there's another part of this is just, it's a simple, you know, control element. Like we just simply mm -hmm. have a hard time letting go of control of that thing. And, you know, it reminds me always of somebody I worked with uh, years ago, who I was developing as a manager mm -hmm. and they just felt like they had to touch every customer, you know, and, and felt like the, and, and they were really great with customers. Right. So you, you can understand why they felt like that was their strength and their talent. But I can look at that from the over on the sidelines and say that stunts our growth. Mm -hmm. We cannot grow in the way that we're capable of growing. So long as you take that approach to day-to-day -day management, mm -hmm. because if you don't develop your people to do the same thing, you know, to do what it is that you're trying to do, because if, if they can't do it, then let's find somebody else. And if they can't do it and only you can do it, we're just really limited in our growth. Oh, absolutely. Or if you're carving out that hour to two hours a week, those one to two hours a week, you are training your people how to touch like you do. Yeah. Well, let's and, just, yeah. yeah. And let's not race too far ahead. Yeah. Here. Let's recognize that our first job that we're going to ask mm -hmm. everybody to think about doing with them, their, their list this week is just for this coming week. And, and we hope you'll rejoin us again next Monday morning. And we want to talk about what you discovered, of course, and yeah. go through that list. But for this week, start with the list of yep. all the things. Just the list. It's baby steps. And that's, you know, I want to, I want to touch on that just a second. Mm -hmm. Um, 
You know, those of you who have been watching what Jim and I have been doing over the course of the last couple of years, um, and it's 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 interesting when people that have been watching are like, oh my gosh, you guys have created and done so much. And what do we attribute that to? It is like every day, even if it is a slight shuffle, we're moving forward. Mm -hmm. We're moving forward on doing something to better ourselves and our business. Even if that's a little moving forward where it's only a task that an hour for the mm -hmm. week that yeah. is moving us forward, moving that needle forward. Right. Um, and, uh, it, it just, it, I, I read this thing the other day, Facebook, I, I, you know, I watch or pay attention way too much to Facebook. <laughs> um, but you get some great memes and, uh, <laughs> Right. And fun jokes. Uh, and fun yeah. jokes. Oh my gosh. Um, it and it was uh oh my god. Uh you know what? I'm just having a senior moment here, right? Oh now. no. Yeah, okay. Well let me gap, let me Jim. jump in here okay. and comment on uh, Amanda. <laughs> you you put the, you took the comment down, but Amanda uh Sanchez that. said uh that she enjoys um she's finding it really useful to use um Loom and recording videos. And we're gonna talk I'm a lot about that, them. Amanda, in mm -hmm. the coming um uh, weeks here. We're gonna talk a lot about how to you know, train and transfer, you know, certain functions over to other mm -hmm. people. So we're going to get into the actual, um, you know, functions of that and kind of some methods to hand off. Somebody's been watching the queso tour. It's, it's not so cheese dip. <laughs> that's what, that's what started the whole thing. Is, you know, we that's, were in Utah where it's basically cheese dip. They're just serving sorry, you a bowl of cheese. We are all over the place this morning. No, sorry, everybody. <laughs> So, but yeah, so in Texas, it's queso and they dress it up with It's peppers. not queso, it's queso. Queso, if you're Spanish. It's queso, so. I've learned this. Yeah. Uh -huh. So anyway, that's kind of where you're going to see us go in the month of August is we want to have a chance to help. You know, we, we sound like we're picking on you this morning and some of some of our oh. listeners. And, and in reality, if you think about it, what we're really trying to do here is give you some very real solutions to get uh, control of your day. You know, that was said to me way back in early management, like, mm -hmm. are you running your day or is your day, or is your running, day you? running you? Mm -hmm. And some of us know exactly what that means. It's like, you know, if you're, if and it's the nature of retail, there's going to be a certain amount of your day that's unpredictable, which means we have to be really effective with the parts of the day that we can control. Mm -hmm. and, and that's about taking control of the calendar taking control of the schedule. Sometimes that might, be, might mean a closed door for two hours and your people have to figure stuff out, you know, while oh, you're yeah. in the meeting, you know, oh, yeah. there can be any number of solutions here. But let's say for this week, we're asking you to just think about start, start the list. Start the list of daily things that you do and weekly things potentially too that you do um, that, that, uh, just, just write the list because mm -hmm. it's, it's going to be, you know, as we, as we dive into this, it's going to be about delegation. Mm -hmm. It's going to be also about combining things right. um, and then stacking different, different uh, um, pieces of what you do during the day that make more sense. It will free up time. Yeah. And we look, we <laughs> get it. Everybody understands the value, the concept of the value of delegating work. Like we understand that's part of how we grow yet. It's such a, fundamental <laughs> idea yet we see so many people struggle to do it and so the question becomes why what's what's the limitation what's the barrier uh, can i speak to that please um one thing and and i i am all for and so many dealers um are fantastic at you know they just like are creating something out of nothing and and you have to have a certain level of ego and mm -hmm. like, I, you know, I can do this oh, no, kind of thing. The ego word. I know the ego word and ego can be such a beautiful thing, mm -hmm. but ego can also get in your way. Yep. And so the whole idea of only I can, mm -hmm. um, I think that that's when we go through this exercise, that that's going to be like, let's really look at that. And yeah. is that, is that true? Is it really, really true? Yeah. And I wrote an article, um, about ego and I recognize that, you know, you have to tread lightly here because, um, Look, ego is what drives a lot of car dealers. I mean, it's like the nature of the business. We're type A individuals, many of our mm -hmm. dealer clients, and that's the nature of it. And when I talked about ego in this article, I basically said, look, ego is not a four letter word. It's not like it's, it's something it's we three. all use to navigate life. <laughs> yeah, that's three. Good job, honey. I could count. Yeah. It's all on so, one hand. So I'm good. Right. 
So basically with, um, with that, it's not, it's not a negative word. It's just that we have to understand when it, to me, when it becomes negative is when we let it cloud our judgment and business mm-hmm. decision-making, mm-hmm. that's when it becomes the thing. And so if we can, you know, manage our ego and use it to, to help us, you know, be successful, great. But when it starts to cloud our judgment, because we, we think we're the only ones that can do it. We think we have to outrun the competition, whatever, that's a different subject, but it's like, we that's when ego starts to become a problem Mm -hmm. and so we have to just recognize that that's what's happening and be prepared to manage it so so yeah i think this is where we try to go with with the topic of the month is to just basically say you know we know that it's possible to chip away this learn some new habits Mm -hmm. and dave martin i did see or uh, david norton rather i saw your comments there and i think you're right i had heard i've heard different numbers on that he said takes 21 days to create a habit i've heard about human beings it's more like 45 or more either way it does take a good while to Uh establish and it takes a very little time to break it yeah yeah and so you know it's part of the fun of of the month of uh, august years having five mondays would let us just let's start the month fresh and let's use august as a as a Let's turn some tables in the month of August. Let's create some new habits. And, mm-hmm. uh, and we want to work with our folks out there who are listening and tuning in. And, and we ask you to, you know, share this and let's bring other people to the conversation. There, and you it know doesn't matter. Are, have you been in business three months? Have you been in business 30 right. years? Right. That everyone is going to benefit from, from doing this kind of practice. Yeah. So invite people to in, uh, join our Monday broadcast. And obviously they can pick mm-hmm. it up uh, after as an archive because most people are busy on Monday morning. Yeah, I think that we talked about um, uh, on the podcast to make them more searchable that we're going to be like calling this the buyer pay here morning show right. um, manager Mondays sure. or Monday manager or something like that so that people can find it and just find you know, the management track, find the sure. management track like, yeah. kind of like how we do white hat Wednesday. Yeah, no, for sure. That's all good stuff. We, uh, we definitely um, recognize that there's a, you know, a need here and it's an opportunity for us to work together and, and we hope that pe- people can see that we're we're about helping dealers get better. And and so this is an area that you know whether it's a you know top manager, uh, sales manager, you know dealer principal, most of us can benefit from this idea. So again, we think as we move into this idea of weekly initiative, I had a lot of success with that, and mm-hmm. I didn't finish explaining it. You know, twenty years ago when I used that approach. It worked with dealers that had been long established, long kind of in a plateau in their business. And I just started picking something. Each week we would work with the team and what do you want to see fixed? And we would focus on maybe this week it's delinquency. Maybe next week it's aged inventory. And we Mm -hmm. would focus on it. We would set these targets that were meant to be achieved at least 80% of the time. Mm -hmm. And so we would knock them out. And, you know, you would knock out another one the week after mm-hmm. and you'd knock out another one. And next thing you know, you look up and in two to three months, your numbers are changing. Small needles. Yeah. yeah and, you just, you, you shift that just a little bit. And suddenly your business is improving. Mm-hmm. And it's all just because we started taking those small, small bites. bites. And uh, so this is what you'll hear us move into as we move through mm-hmm. the month of August. So again, our, our, our assignment, our challenge for today for week number one in August is to create Track. that list, yeah. start making that list. And as, as things come up and you throughout your week, you're going to recognize the things that you find yourself involved mm-hmm. in. You're going to also indicate those things that you currently either believe only you can do, or you haven't currently trained anybody else to do it. So mm-hmm. they fall onto your plate. And, and I think you can start to see fast forward. What does it look like in your dealership? If you go away on vacation for two weeks, can you do that? And if you can't, yeah. why? What's what's the barrier? Let's, there? let's figure out yeah. how to let's figure out how to make that happen mm-hmm. for everybody. Um, so before we close up, just a couple of things. I want to thank um, uh, Bill Elizondo. He sent us a list of all of the organization uh, dates um, for, for that, yeah, thank you for the different conferences. And it looks like uh, we have the Carolinas IADA on the fourth through the sixth. Yep. This week. And yep. And then there's uh, like it's the season for golf tournaments. I mm-hmm. love golf. Mm-hmm. Um, never keep score. Yeah, no, we don't. Um, do we that. don't keep score. Mm-hmm. So, like, we're not someone that you would want to have like 
necessarily in a tournament unless it's for laughs. Yeah, and my problem with the scorecards, <laughs> they have a really limited amount of space on there. I don't have enough room to mark all the strokes. Like I just so it's room. like we might be able to do the uh, closest to the pin thing, but yeah. the rest of it is yeah. out the yeah. freaking window. Right. So um, we're not trying to pitch for an invitation to any of those, but there's lots and lots of golf tournaments. But there is also the M the Mississippi convention as well is right after the Carolinas. Um, theirs is the fifth through the seventh. So if you, uh, live in either the Carolinas or Mississippi, reach out to your state organizations because they're doing their conference. And oh my gosh, if there is anything that we are going to heavily pitch every time we can is join your state organization. That right. is it's if, if there's anything that we can pitch, join your state organization put that check in your stack of payables yep it's it's so little it every year it's yeah. so it's one payment for a lot of people yeah it's one, one car, car payment, payment is your is your your or your yearly dues mm -hmm. which is absolutely nothing so um yeah both carolinas and mississippi coming up mm -hmm. and then um uh soft pitch oh you know, guys, those of you guys that know us out there, um, this kind of thing where we're trying to move needles and we're trying to help dealers be better. Um, if it's something you want some help in tackling, mm -hmm. give us a holler. Um, you know, we can help with that as well. But we're going to try to give you all the tools uh, here on the morning show for this that you can do it yourself. Right. Um, and, you know, sometimes I know uh, there are dealers out there that need an accountability partner or someone that can help mm -hmm. give them ideas to help move the needle and and that's some of the stuff that we do. Or if you've got a great mentor or 20 group, that's another place you can go sure. as we continue on with this uh, manager Monday, seize the day. Right. Um, yeah. We appreciate you tuning August. in. We welcome your feedback. I can see that Amanda Sanchez is uh, fired up. She likes the concept. Uh -huh. and so that's cool. We're glad to have that uh, uh, support. And then, uh, yeah, just please invite um, other dealers to join us as we go through this. They can catch uh uh, today's episode will be available on YouTube within a few hours and then uh, tomorrow it will be available on the syndicated podcast, right? All so. your podcast channels. That's yep. your Spotify. So yeah, if you guys want stuff content, like immediately, it's either going to be in the Facebook groups or on our YouTube channel. Yeah. And so go on YouTube channel and you just have to like, and subscribe, and then it's going to hit your inbox. You're going to see that something new has dropped. So dealers add that to your list of things that you do this <laughs> week, which is subscribe to the YouTube channel. Right? That goes on my so list. I can subscribe. Right, right. All right, guys. Hey, thanks so much for tuning in. We hope you have a fantastic week. We look forward to seeing you on Wednesday for our white hat Wednesday. Right. We're going to be talking about how dealers can be just better mm -hmm. and um, hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. If there's anything we can do, reach out.